Everything won't do, you know. Oh. Ah, <laughs> don't do. She mean I mean, I did. She mean I did beat you guys. You see what I'm married to my party? Don't do anything. There was no single ambulance, not one. I wish you can. Is there any way you can just show a bit of what I sent to you? Hmm, my people, Naira Mali and Sam Larry, the alleged killer of Mobad, are in total trouble at the moment because Peter Abba finally come out to make a shocking revelation regarding the death of Mobad. And this have got people crying in the early hour of today. The killer of Mobad, they are in total trouble at the moment. So if you can share this video, ensure you share it, let it go viral. Mobad must have justice. Share to different social media platform. And if you can share it, just like it, do it to like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. But they're still connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. The home of religious gossip. And the police will leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now. It makes sense with Lachibong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome you back to Like Your Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, ensure you click the red subscription button appearing on your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that when I will drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily let it know. This is not the normal political update that I used to give you guys right from time, you know. This update is based on the death of Mumbad and you know, since when Mumbad died, it is a very painful thing for me. I've never come out to speak about the death of Mumbai and the whole issue, the saga that is around the death of Mumbai. But this video, I'm just bringing to you what Peter will be said, the shock revelation that Peter will be revealed concerning the death of Mumbai. The killers of Mumbai are in total trouble. They are in serious trouble because this issue have extended to where they never expected. They think they can just kill Mumbai just like that and everything will be forgotten. But this issue have extended. They have extended to a point Point of no return. It's no more the news that they killed this hip hop artist, an Afrobeat singer that is signed under the Manian label. A 27 years old uprising star that everyone fell in love with was killed in a day. A lot of people have actually come out to disclose a lot of things regarding the death of Mumbai and a lot of videos of Mumbai that are circulated online where he was accusing Manian label, Nera Mali, and Samilari. And the video even showcased online where Samilari, a video promoter, was beating my back. It's not a video, it's not two video. There are varieties of video online where this guy is being assaulted and even wrote petition to the police that they are after his life, but yet the police cannot even secure him. They can't even protect his life and all of that. But at the end of the day, this guy was later killed and a lot of allegations came out where Mombad was alleging Naramali of his death. Yeah, the thing about this on me. Yeah. I went mad into it I because of this issue. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in your world, please help me if I die. Oh, I'm only a millionaire. I'm only I beg if I die like this. Now a lot of people came out, a lot of big people in Nigeria came out, they talk about death of Mumbai. The video came out and all of that and the life of other, even Bonner Boy. But Peter will be a finally come out to speak regarding the death of Mumbai. So be that I would like guys to stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, make sure you share it, let it go viral. Justice for Mumbai. The death of Mumbai can never go without the perpetrator be punished. Justice for Mumbai. If you want justice for Mumbai, share this video, let it go viral. And if you can share it, like it, give the thumb up so that youtube can just recommend it for us this guy fought hard and suffered hard in the hand of these people before they finally killed him he more or less suffered in the hand of these people before they finally overcome him even with the fact that this guy just gave birth to a baby boy a baby that is five months old they did not even pity the condition of his baby they did not even going to pity the condition of the father they would have just pity the condition of the newborn baby but they did not yet they killed him after so many beating for many years. So a lot of people have already pulled out. They are pulled out in streets. They said justice for Mumbai. Different regions all across Nigeria protests have been going on. That justice for Mumbai because this guy is loved throughout all Nigeria and outside Nigeria because he's an easygoing entity. After they killed Mumbai, they wanted him buried with immediate effect. They threatened the father of Mumbai so that he can bury him with immediate effect. Mumbai father wanted to bury him the same night that they killed him. But 
the barley or the chairman of that community said no that he must bury him the following day without conducting autopsy and all of that because they don't want the actual cause of the death to be known to the general public that's why they rushed to bury him with immediate alacrity but now since the nigerian police say that nigerian youth are not taking it lightly nigerian citizens are not taking the death of Mumbai lightly they said they should go and put him from where they buried him and they want to assume Mumbai. they want to conduct autopsy for the corpse of Mumbai. So what did Peter Obi said? Before I will show you what Peter Obi said, I'm going to show you what the general officer of Messina, Prophet Jeremiah Motofe, said regarding the death of Mumbai. So I would like you guys to stay connected after finish watching what the man said because it's very private. Then you compare it with what Peter Obi said. But I like you guys to stay connected. I'm coming back again. <laughs> A young musician that who was just coming up who have God has given a talent called Mohan who was God had anointed in order to go to the world and being a blessing to many for no reason these few days I don't know what happened to this young boy and the enemies from nowhere gathered together they came and killed this young boy when they killed the young boy and this young boy music were selling well people admire the young boy because he was god has given him the grace in order to perform right on the stage for no reason these people came they gather together and they just kill this boy for no reason for no reason and the thing that pained me most when i saw the videos are not flying right in the social media how can a celebrity that dies in a painful death they just carry this young boy for no reason without wasting time and buried this young boy and they gave the way they gave him the burial the way they buried him it was suspicious who and who are behind this case right now mobile death it is not ordinary death and the spirit is going to trouble the people that who, who kill him Amen. And the truth will come out. Yes, sir. Now, the father is a Christian like me. I have never seen a Christian just something happen to a celebrity. For no reason, you just allowed these people to bury a young boy like the way nobody understands. My message. I'm sending this message. And I'm asking, I am pleading, it is not my office. The IG of police, this is their office. Let them, let the IG of police in Nigeria use this good office to investigate this matter. I am here to back them up in prayers mm. Mm. to expose ah. the people that who are now behind this case yes sir i will back nigerian police <laughs> with prayers the mountains are there i will climb mountain because of this case yes sir i will climb mountain because of the people that will kill Mumbai. Yes, sir. Every coming up artists, actors, actresses. I love them. Yes, sir. I am for everybody a father to all. Ah. I have to address this case. Police. Nigeria police, please use your good office. Use your good office. How can they now gather this young boy coming from from show? They gather and they beat him up. What is the problem 
And what are they looking for until they kill the young boy? Let me tell you. Some people may think that some people they don't have to, they don't have person. But when something happens, then then the people will now come out and say, This is my person. I assure you that we'll follow the protocol. Within what we can manage, within, within, we have to talk about, we'll follow the protocol in a, in a managed and organized manner where it will allow us to be able for our, to, for our economy to remain productive and people to create jobs and everything. There's ones we need to deal with as quickly as we can. With the issue of flood, for example, the issue of flood is because over the years, We've neglected dredging, the silting of our rivers, which would have taken most of the flood and be able to contribute to the economy by being a means of transportation. You know, for example, we have, if we have been dredging and have been awarding, we have been awarding contracts for the dredging of Niger, for dredging of Benue, River Benue. If the right things have been done there, I assure you, we wouldn't have had the level of flooding we have had. If we had built dams and everything, which will help even in the place we are talking about, that is drying up, if we had done that, we would have used it effectively. And this is not something that is sophisticated. It's been done everywhere. And Nile today, everybody know what the Nile is to. Egypt. They will tell you that no Nile, no Egypt. But it's not the same case with our own. If Egypt can deal with Nile that is 6,650 kilometers long, tell me why the giant of Africa and Nigeria cannot deal with Niger. River Niger is 4,184 kilometers long. River Benue is 1,400. Two of them combined is still 1,000 short of the Nile. We can do it. And I believe that these are things we need to do. Dredging it, making it, so it becomes a means of transportation and everything. There was no single ambulance, not one. They're owned by government. So I bought 30, gave one one per local government. And kept, and they gave me a phone number that if I call automatically, I will go. They will be there in 15 minutes. And then we went to look into school of nursing. We were talking about primary health care. We didn't have one single school of nursing that was accredited by the regulatory agency. No school of midwifery, no school of health technology. And you can't talk about primary health care without this human resource. So first, it was issue of ambulance. One day I went to see a traditional ruler of one of our big towns called Adazian. The wife died. So I, the governor, called this ambulance. I, not to anybody, governor. One hour, two hours, three hours. This is governor, the number they gave us. This is not ordinary people now, it's governor who bought the ambulance. So I told the commissioner, you see that we've done a wrong investment. Because we called Boromeo, that was owned by church. Within 30 minutes, they were there. So we knew that our own was wrong investment because the ambulances have been converted to private vehicles of people. <laughs> so I said, okay. So first I said, we are not going to invest in the hospitals and facilities owned by the church. We're going to invest in Iyenu, Boromio, others, St. Joseph and others. A lady of laws, go and check these facilities. 
I said, we're not going to invest money building school of nursing and midwifery from scratch. Because as a young boy growing up in Onicha, I read that the first midwife in Nigeria was produced in Yenu. So I said, these people have school of midwifery before. They have school of nursing. I'm going to invest money in it. And that's how we did across the state, working with the churches. Today we have in Anambra State combined over 10 school of nursing, midwifery, health technology, all functional because we are working with what you can call private sector. Government job is not to deliver all these things. It is to support the private sector and NGOs and this to develop it. Government doesn't manage anything. They are bad managers. Their job should be supervision, supervision, supervision. That's why even the anchor borrowers, all these programs, is not working. He just hear it in TV. It's never worked. Quite frankly, for me, for a 180 trillion economy, I don't think uh, three trillion should be the reason for so many other things. But I'm not sure. There's something they know that I don't know. So I leave it to them until I have the full background of what is the problem. That I can, I can deal with. On issue of lessons learned from an ambassador, quite frankly, for me, I don't think there's a lot that I can tell you that I'll change, considering where I started. You might not know where I started in Anambra State. The day I was sworn in as governor of Anambra State, there was no governor's lodge in Anambra State. There was no governor's office in Anambra State. As you know, it was burned down a year or so under my predecessor. There was no sectariat. The sectariat is this was I'm working today was built by me from the scratch. If I ask where is Minister of Agriculture, they say it's in that corner. Where is Minister of Health? It's in that corner. There was nothing. I started Minister of Planning. I missed nothing. My predecessor didn't hand over, my uh, predecessor didn't hand over to me. As you know, we declared in the court, luckily for me, Somebody who can tell you how I what happened to me that day is here, Chijoke. This is our company secretary in Fidelity. I was sitting on board of Fidelity Bank as chairman, presiding the board system, and one of the directors, let Ndubisikanu, say stop, chairman. I say, he said the court has declared you the winner to be governor of Anambra State. And uh, they said, you'll be sworn in immediately. That's how I left off the office. I didn't even get to my house. Thought it was a joke. Enter plane, reach Anka, and for filling paper, they already sworn me in governor. I didn't even come with two clothes. I was wondering, ah. I thought they would have given me one week to even, but they said the job after that. I said, so where is governor's office? No office. I said, no, I can't pay people for doing the wrong thing. I would rather go, but I came back. So for me, the measure, they started MDG in 2000, but I started, I became, after my impeachment, I came back in 2007, started implementing MDG. By the time Nigeria ended MDG in 2015, Anambra State was number one. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can hear what that prophet said regarding the death of Mamba. You know, nobody in Nigeria is happy regarding the death of this guy because this guy is known to be the light in the darkness. But finally, they killed him because they don't want the light to overshadow the darkness. Now, displayed on your video screen is what Peter will be posted. You know, Peter will be sent his condolence to the family of Mumbai because the death of Mumba paid him so well that he dropped his condolence and he made some speech on Twitter space today. And this is what Peter Obi wrote. He said on behalf of he and his family that he condoled with the mother and entire family of Ilerio Lua Ola Demenji Aloba, popularly known as Mombad, over his painful demise. 
I know how difficult it is for parents to lose a child, especially one with such a promising future as he is. Everybody knows that Mombat has a promising future and in fact, his song is even trending on Nigeria now and his song topped the chart, the musical chart, where the songs of Bonan Boy, Ashake, David Do, Whiskey and all of that used to top before. The song has never gotten there before but this song get to that stage, he topped the chart and he retained the height. The moment Mumbai died, this happened, that shows that, that's the loneliness to tell us that this guy is truly the light that he used to call himself because Imole is a Yoruba term and it means light. He used to call himself light. No song that Mamba sang that he won't mention Imole, which is light. But they finally killed the light. But the light did not die. The light of Mamba did not die. He's still showcasing till now. That is why a lot of people are out there agitating that the people that killed Mamba, the perpetrator of this event, must be put to book. Now, looking at this issue critically, Naira Manley and Samilari, they are the orchestrator of the death of Mumbai according to a report now because a lot of evidences have been flying up and down on social media regarding the death of Mumbai and everything is pointing fingers to Naira Manli and Samilari. It's pointing fingers to the Romanian label now since then. Naira Manli ran out of Nigeria. He ran to Amsterdam and he never come to Nigeria till now. Why Samilari ran to another country too where he began to release video threatening people that are bullying him regarding the death of Mumbai because he himself knows that all Nigerians are against him at the moment. What this guy had in mind before was that he had a lot of connections, he had a lot of people that can back him up, he had a lot of people that can stand by him even in the political positions in Nigeria. He believes he has politicians and all of that, but at the end of the day, the voice of the masses is bigger than the voice of the people in the office. So this guy cannot even come to Nigeria at the moment, but he keep releasing video on Instagram and on Twitter that if anybody should bully him or call him out regarding the death of Mumbai again that he's going to kill the person he's not even hiding this is atrocities again likewise Naira Mali when he knew that Mumbai died he released a video when he noticed that they began to drag him on Instagram and all social media handles he released a video dancing and mocking the dead that is what is going on even Sam Lally came out he dropped a video this same Sam Lally dropped a video the guy that had been beating Mumbai for some time before Mumbai finally died the guy Sam Lally released a video and this video was released immediately Mumba died with the moment they began to drag him on media he dropped the video and he was taken in the video though he used Yoruba mostly and you know as a Yoruba guy I hate everything completely what he said in the video he said for those people that are saying that Mumba spirit will be threatening him and all of that that Mumba spirit will not allow him to rest he said it's only in Nollywood that ghosts used to appear to people that ghosts can never appear to anyone that he will be eating and he will be sleeping conveniently without any spirit attacking him and all of that that was what the guy said the moment Mumbai died and the drag is ongoing on twitter and other social media handles so the guy admitted it there that he was the one that killed Mumbai in that video that is why he can say that ghosts cannot chase him up and down that is only in Nollywood that shows that he's telling the entire world that he have killed Mumbai he have killed Mumbai and nothing can be done nobody can come to him and attack him and all of that that is what Sam Larry was saying in that very video now after Kenny Mamba they buried this guy immediately and everything is done low-key but now the people have voiced out they even wanted Mamba to be buried the same day that he died I know it was a threat to the father because the father of Mamba is just like a slave to Naira Mali and he feared Naira Mali so well but the community leader did not allow the thing to take place that same day they wanted to bury Mumbai at midnight but the community leader came out and said no but they later buried Mumbai the following day in the morning and there is a corpse with so many controversies no autopsy conducted no exhum and all of that but the police due to the voice of the people they have finally said that they should go and exhum the body of Mumbai so they uprooted they bring out the body of Mumbai back to the earth again so that autopsy can be conducted what do you guys think I like us to drop your opinion in the comment section on this video regarding the death of Mumbai and drop your condolences as Peter will be did at the comment section of this video if you have not done so before drop it at the comment section of this video I'm going to get to get that nothing for you be sure you follow me on my social media handles on Facebook at Lajibor Watch TV and Lajibor Entertainment and on Instagram at Lajibor also on TikTok at Lajibor guess what guys see you in my next video bye
I see the hopes for my body, I say make a young yeah. Religious gossip and today for body yeah. for yeah. Pastor where the line on top be pastor yeah. For yeah. like you pop watch TV yeah. Yeah. Pastor where the bar, where where yeah. Politician where the do pass me say for a leader Why you with the for church?